shopping. Hi uh, guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are in Balboa and San Diego. We are at Cars and Conchas. Uh, we're gonna be checking out the cars here today. Yesterday we were up in LA, today we're in San Diego. Um, so yeah, let's see what kind of cars we can run into, see what kind of cars they got down here in this scene. Check this thing out, this thing's super clean. Check her out, you guys, we're gonna make her nervous. She's vlogging, she's, she's like on her fourth video, so you know we gotta give her a hard time. I like this hood, this thing looks sick. It's like metallic camel, you guys, that thing's badass. All right, out of all the cars here, this is the one I want next. One not is Audi RS3 so bad. All right, you guys, I'm window shopping over here with this Audi RS3, because this thing is bad. Especially in the Nardo Gray, that thing's like super nice. Sleeper, super what I'm into. And you know, you know you're gonna get gapped at the light. A few moments later. Yeah. Is this one of your guys's? Yeah. How do you like it? I love it. It's you, my second one. Your second one? Yeah. How was the first What happened to the first one? Uh, it's a long story, but uh, it, was a, it, was, it was an 18, <laughs> so this one is the 20. Okay. I like it. Do you like, is, there, uh, is it worth waiting for the upgrade? There's two generations of this one? Correct, so three now. Three now, yeah, yeah sorry. Three now. So this is the second one. Um, the third ones are good too, but they look kind of ugly. Yeah. It's, like, it's very ugly looking. It looks like a bigger car. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I definitely like my 18 better because it launched better. Okay. Uh, this one, the gear is a little bit funky. I mean, it's still slap. Like for like mod, like if you just wanted to mod the shit out of one, is it better to get the gen, the first generation? I mean, it doesn't really matter. It can make the same power. Zero to sixty is the same, like three, five, three, six, whatever. The same potentials is like yeah, there. Yeah, they, the the tune is the same. Okay. Nothing different about it. The engine is exactly the same. Um, the the twenty is a little different just because the um, the diverted valve or something like it's located differently. Okay. But I like it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to tell them about it because to them it just looks like a sleeper car because they don't know about cars. Yeah, well, yeah. And I'm trying to tell them like, oh, this thing's insane. It just looks like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, hey, most people, if they don't know, they don't know, but when they know, they'll be like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. But no, RS3 is one of the gnarliest car to, like, power-wise. Yeah, does it launch as hard as they say? Like, can you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> you can feel it 80 miles an hour. Hey, you're like, yeah. Well, how bonded right now? Oh, like, <laughs> Uh, and then uh, usually with the simple tune, they make like 650 horsepower. So this one is run on E85, so full on E85, which is pretty good. Gas are cheap, you know, like E85 is like $2.30. Oh, yeah. Yeah. $2.30. So you're like full bolts on Z85? Yeah, I mean, you could put an e, uh, E85 without well, any like modification. Okay. Um, like maybe just an intake or uh, stuff like that, but there's more to do with it. Mm. But the guy over there, he also has the same, same tune. He's an 18. The one with the green wheels? Yeah. Okay. I, got 18. I told him if you want to sell those things, I'll, I'll get. <laughs> I'll get it too. Yeah, those are lightweight uh, wheels, like the you twenty. Maybe you want to trade stock. The twenty-one pound. <laughs> no, he's gonna go with wider tires. That's what we're oh. looking for, right? The yeah. Is it? Uh, has it been reliable, stock turbo and everything? Yeah, I've never had a problem with never. it. I mean, check engine light came on once in a while. It's only because of the old tube. Because I set up for stage two, but I'm only on one plus. Okay. So the O2 uh, doesn't read like correctly. Yeah, where it's the code, and then that's pretty much it. But reliability, yeah. Like it, it runs good even yeah. with the check in. And it share the same, almost share the same part as the Audi A3, and Audi A3 is like the Honda version of European car. Oh, Volkswagen, they, they use the same parts, um, but most of the. Parts so it's pretty. With it, man. Like I launched the shit out of it. I mean, <laughs> like. Yeah, no, that's how I want one to launch the shit out of it too. Yeah. There, um, I mean, <laughs> my other one, like the zero to sixty, like three seconds. Like 2.1. Oh man. And that's on like a normal road. I spun out all four. 
Damn. Yeah, and like you said, like regular tires. Probably if you had it like on drag slicks and everything. Nah, no, <laughs> dude, drag slick is hard to, to get one right now because it's back order. Uh. And it's very hard to find rims that fit this thing. Like, cause the brakes are there, like eight piston front, and you can't. They're huge. Yeah. The caliber, you can't gap it. Yeah, uh, and I, I had that issue. With yeah, to feet. find one that would actually fit this, it's hard. That's a, um, without spacers, yeah. It's hard. <laughs> There's a one company that make like the 18, because this is 19, um, but the 18 is like what? $3,000. Oh, so dude. Yeah. yeah. I guess my last question is like, how much have you spent on getting it to the bolt ons? Yeah. Um, well, think about it. Each part that you put in costs about 1000 About 1000 So, inject, well, not really. Injectors, $500. Big injectors. The intake, what, 15 the in a cool if I get one it'll be about you can spend anywhere from a thousand to two thousand mm. dollars. Um, the tune itself, what twenty two hundred for the engine and the DSG. Is there revisions on that or is it just like one time thing and it's gonna like take care of itself? What do you mean? For the tune? I mean you can change a different map. Now. Oh you yeah, you can change on a computer. It's on oh. map, like, um you can change uh, launch control on this one or how many PSI you want. So oh. ten and twelve, I think that's the only two that they have right now. I can never go 12. Yeah, right. at least you get to choose so you can go lower. Yeah, because yeah, um, the last one I went to the track, uh, I did a 12 pound launch, no traction at all. Oh man. Uh, I can just spit all four and just, uh, it's not that great. Can you tell it's front wheel drive biased or like is it like a big deal? Uh, it got more power to the front, like you said, it's because uh, it's 255 tires in the front and 235 in the back. Okay. It's a weird setup. But... Oh, that's the way it comes to like. Yep. Oh wow. Yep, 255 in the front and 235 in the back. Oh, why is the wheel the same? No, um, the front is uh, 8.5 and the back is 8. Oh, opposite. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. I even told the tire guy, like, he was arguing me, like, no, that's how you're like, dude, look at this. Ah, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. It, is a, it is a good car. Yeah, now I'm trying, you're making me want one, so I appreciate the yeah. talk. Yeah, get an S4. My buddy over there with the R8 and then the next one, he have the S4. Dude, that thing supercharger wine like as loud as a freaking like Hellcat. It is sick. It's so loud. How much are those? You can like, get one for like 10 G, 15 G, and you can tune it up to like 500 mil with a bolt on with a pulley, dual pulley, and that dual pulley only costs you like what 300 bucks, 400. Huh? It's only a pulley and a belt. Okay. Yeah, I'm barely learning about Audi because I have a BMW and then. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Beamer. Yeah, they break down. <laughs> But, well, I has a Beamer too, but I, I yeah. told her straight up, like, but she spent a lot of money on that shit well, already. Yeah, yeah, they suck as far as maintenance. You barely drive it? No, I, I drive my uh, golf bar. Oh, okay. Oh, you got a golf bar too? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. But that thing is loud. It got two step and all that fun stuff. Yeah. I like that. And you can launch that one too? Oh, yeah. Uh, six speed manual with a long control and two step or whatever. Uh, it's pretty annoying. With it. Six speed then? Oh, shit. I see a Beamer. I yeah, but I wish I had one of these. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be no beamers today. Yeah, yeah, we're like, we're done with the beamers here. Well, I mean, yeah, man, well, I appreciate it. Nice talking to you guys. Yeah, man, take it Later. Easy, man. You yeah. too. Later. Yeah. All right, you guys, it's confirmed. I need to get one, I need to make it happen. That guy loves his. He just told you a bunch of really good reasons as to why you should get one. And he even told you what year to get, so it's easy pickings now. Let's get it, let's make this work, let's get to it, make it happen. We got all the Type R's right here. Type R, Type R, Type R, Type R. Check out this R3, found another one. This one's on green wheels. This wing here is badass. What up? I'm trying to get one of these ones. This is nice, huh? Yeah, they're simple and fast. Mm-hmm. And I was window shopping too. This thing right here is a GTR killer. They're like, what? You don't believe me? For real, dude. That thing's a GTR killer. <laughs> like 50, 60. But they're sick. Just wait. 
Let's wait on it. It's coming. The Corvette. 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 The And the rear end is insane. Like the shapes, everything about it is just super sick. Oh man. How rare is the wagon? Dude, 510's a rare period, bro. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't think I've seen a wagon. Um, I only met like one or two other people, but not, the wagon. not too many. Well, yeah, because it's solid axle. <laughs> yeah, no, it's badass. And like you said, you're not gonna find another one. No, they're they rust out too much, bro. You're doing pretty good on this one. This how I got it, bro. Oh shit. Pulled it out of a field like this. Oh shit. A barn, barn find, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Fucking a, bro. Nice. Yeah, I said for like four or five years. Four or five years? Yeah, so got it. Fucking got it running. Nice. Yeah, the engine bed looks all clean, aren't you? Yeah. I'll get turbo too at some point. You're gonna get turbo? Oh yeah, turbo bags, cage. Oh shit, that'll be bad. Oh shit, bro. Well, what color will it be on the end? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm probably just gonna leave it like that. Leave it like that? Yeah. yeah Give it that classic look? Yeah, you know what I mean? Fucking rust it out, all that shit. I mean, it's got rust on the outside, but underneath, nothing. And underneath is good? Oh, it's fucking beautiful. It's like you wouldn't even believe. All the components and everything. Uh, it's all it's got like a fully adjustable lower control arms, fucking like race suspension, all that fucking shit. Getting it slowly set up. Oh uh, yeah, money man. Money. Yeah, <laughs> and time too. I thought. Yeah, that's it. Uh, well, nice talking to you. <laughs>
All the carbon. Let's see. Would you take the Supra or the RS3? The Supra. The Supra? It looks cooler, huh? Yeah. You? Same? No worries, you guys can both get gapped by my RS3 when I get it. In, in the Corvette? Yo, check out these tail lights. I don't think I've seen these before. The BRZ? What the heck? I guess I just haven't seen the New Year. That is insane looking. So I guess this is the new BRZ. Battery threw body kit on it and that shit looks nice. But, uh, Oh shit! Yo, check it out. We got a Mustang with the Paxton supercharger. You know that thing's gotta be fast. That thing's clean. A... Check out the interior. Got the bronze. Got GTR. I check out right next to it. The McLaren. Jesus Christ. And this is that a regular car me where like people are, you know, walking by. Nobody's worried about anything. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, so right across from there, we got this Rocket Bunny FRS with a, looks like turbo kit. With an engine swap. Sucks. Right across from that. I love a green car. Doesn't matter what shade of green it is. I always love them, but this one's a little too bright for my taste. Uh, but still, definitely a night catcher. These things are nice too. But I'd still take the Audi. <laughs> This thing's super nice. It'd just be really expensive to fix one. An exhaust for this is like $10,000 sometimes. That's how you make friends. All right, you guys, so we're back to my car. I'm pretty much taking you guys everywhere, showing you all the coolest cars here, and we're ready to head out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the show, and don't forget to go and watch the rest of the videos. Check us out at www.3meansgo.com, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Okay, let's go!